Hi, Adam Ring here with another edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadgets. This week we're going to talk about the Wago Distributed I.O. System. What this is, is a way for you to very easily take your inputs and outputs on a piece of equipment and locate them in various places along the length of a machine instead of all in one central location. The benefit of that is that you get to minimize the amount of wiring and the troubleshooting that's required to get a machine to run. So it's very easy. All you have to do is pick a bus coupler, which is the brains of the unit. We have these available in several different standard industrial protocols like Ethernet, Profibus, Modbus, DeviceNet. And once you have that, all you have to do is simply pick which I.O. modules you want. We've got digital inputs, two or four or eight channel modules, and they just slide together just like that. And then you pick, if you have some digital outputs, we've got digital output modules. Again, they just slide together. We have analog input modules and analog output modules. And so you basically build your node by putting together the exact amount of inputs and outputs that you need for your system. And then at the very end, we've got just an end module. And so that caps it off. And now you've got your distributed I.O. node. So the nice thing about this is it uses the WAGO cage clamp for the connections. And what that does is actually keeps a constant spring pressure on the wire at all times. And so they're not going to come loose over time due to temperature or vibration. And so it makes a very reliable connection every single time. So one of the other nice things about this, it makes it very easy to go from one protocol to another, or one industrial bus to another. For example, we have the Ethernet set up right here. If I wanted to go to Profibus, just as simple as taking off that bus coupler and putting on another one. Now we've got Profibus. So once we put this all together, we've got our node. Now if we turn on the power, We've got a program that's running inside of here, and so now we've got some outputs that are blinking on and off. So that's this week's edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadget. See you next time.